ஓம் ஸ்ரீ வீர ராகவா நமக பிரணாம் டு குருதி ஸ்ரீ ராகவாச்சாரிகள் பிரணாம் டு குருதி ஸ்ரீ பி வி கே புவனேஸ்வரமா ஜெய் மீனாட்டு டுடே ஐ வில் லைக் டு ஸ்பீக் ஃபியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆன் நக்ஷத்திர திக்பலா சன்குனாஸ் ரிட்டன் பை டாக்டர் சத்யஸ்ரீ ஆர் ஹூ ஹஸ் காட் டாக்டரேட் ஆன் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் வி ஆல் நோ வாட் இஸ் திக்பலா And the Vedic astrology says Jupiter and Mercury gets Digbala and Lagna. Moon and Venus gets Digbala and 4th house. Saturn and Rahu gets Digbala and 7th house. Mars, Ketu and the Sun gets Digbala in 10th house. This we all know about it. These concepts have been extended in the Meena to Nadi system. and the guruji raghavachari has brought out eight rules how we are planet even though it is not posited as per the vedic astrology how it gets the bala by this panch siddhanta that is the sign lord star lord aspect conjunction association this five methods in the five siddhanta how the planets get deeper that's the concept very beautifully explained in this nakshatra digbala and also what guruji raghavachari says guras plays a vital role in deciding the intensity or the quality of the result just like a planet is getting digbala it is not going to deliver a good result or bad result how the planet is there are eight rules what guruji explained this very detailedly in this book in a beautiful diamond chart in this diamond chart uh, this book they have mentioned how you can step by step step by step step by step you can arrive digbala that digbala when you are using that the eight rules have been given how to identify nakshatra digbala in this uh, book uh, a beautifully page number 65 yeah a, a nice diamond chart yes or no yes or no been given if you follow this absolutely you will arrive simply whether the planet has got the equal or not to identify that there is again rules to determine nakshatra dikbala in 3.2 she has given it. if this two when you apply and take it and arrive at the equal that means you are concluding there is a dikbala for the planet and she goes into a one step further and stating who is giving dikbala to this planet in panchasiddhant then what type of guna is acquired by the giving planet is beautifully explained and finally how the planets get the gunas so what is the hypothesis or the rule what he has mentioned whenever a planet gets a dikbala nakshatra dikbala if it has got a favorable guna that means the gunas theory rajasik satvika tamasa rajasik planets are sun moon venus satvik planets are mercury and jupiter tamasik planets are saturn rahu ketu mars that means 27 stars have been divided into four tamasik planet two satvik planets three rajasik planets so if the planets acquire suitable guna that's a beautifully she has explained in a very special chapter on guna also and this chapter when you look at it how the gunas how rajasa should get rajasa how satvika should get satvika how tamasa should get tamasa guna what happens if rajasa guna rajasa planet gets tamasa or tamasa planet gets it beautifully explained in a very uh, simple and lucid manner if we just go through about it and understand as for our guruji mina to what he says gunas plays a vital role on the quality and the intensity of the result just because a planet is getting dikbala it's not going to deliver result but suitable guna comes it will give a beautiful result even though the planets are associated with the 6 or 8 or 12 the dikbala getting planet but if it is associated with the yoga karaka with a favorable guna that bhava or karaka of the planet which is getting dikbala will flourish and she has given around 32 charts very detailed explanation and this book will be a wonderful book for you go through and read 
and she has come out with three video lessons and teachings how to apply nakshatra dipala on a chart and also how to arrive nakshatra dipala for a planet or character this is wonderful she has given three video sessions and one by one three videos are going to come please subscribe me now to online and wait for her video lessons to be uploaded thank you very much